This week on Big Boys TV, we're going on a whitetail hunt in South Texas at Charco Morano Ranch. We visited the ranch last year and we fell in love with the people and we love the way that they manage their deer. So we're really looking forward to being back again this year. Just shooting her bows a few times before we head out. Um, my bow's just shooting a little bit off, so I'm adjusting it just a little bit, uh, just so I'm dead on, and hopefully we'll be able to make something happen here soon. Phil wanted us to get as much time in the blinds as possible, so we unpacked really quick, sighted our bows, and headed out to the blinds. First night here in Texas, and we're all set up. I'm just waiting for some deer to come out. I've got my PSC all ready to go, and now hopefully we can get a big boy on the ground here soon. We're looking for two specific bucks, a typical 10 point or a non-typical 12 point. First night here in Texas, so we just got in today, flew into San Antonio, and uh, we got in here early enough to hunt the first night, which is a good thing. That way we can at least get one extra night in and see what these deer are going to do, see what we get coming in. We're out right here on the edge of a Sendero. We've got a little bit of a tract in out there for them to get them to stop. They walk up and down the Sendero, and so we're hoping for an archery shot. My longest distance here is only 22 yards, so we're pretty close to him. My dad was having a good night. They were seeing lots of deer, just not the one he was after. My night was going a little bit different. To start things off, there was a big spider in our blind, and I am not a fan of spiders, and it was a black widow spider. These ones are like poisonous if they bite you. Then we had some hogs come in. Now I've never shot a hog before, so I was very tempted, but I didn't want to scare any of the deer that might have been in the area. So we watched these hogs eat all of our corn, and we didn't see any deer that night. My dad was still seeing a lot of activity, and finally the deer he was after was coming in. But unfortunately, that buck was behind a bush, and every time he would step out, he wouldn't stay still long enough for my dad to get a shot. Night fell upon us, and our first sit came to an end. Stay tuned. Big Boys TV will be right back. This segment brought to you by Marathon, fueling the American spirit. Welcome back. We're in South Texas at Charco Morano Ranch hunting whitetail. My dad came really close to shooting that buck he was after on the first night, but unfortunately he just couldn't get a shot. We sat the next morning and got skunked and didn't see either of the bucks that we're after. Now it's our second night and we're hoping these bucks will start moving. Well, it's our second night here in South Texas and we haven't seen any deer yet. Um, last morning we saw some hogs and this morning we didn't see anything so we moved spots and hopefully this is a good spot. Shot my bow right before we came out and I was right on the money so hopefully tonight is a good night. The night started off slow with little movement, but as the sun started setting, activity started to pick up. So we're just hoping that the right buck comes in tonight that we've been looking for um, into this uh, feed that we put out and see if he present himself with a shot last night. He was behind brush the whole time and we could never get a shot. So hopefully tonight it'll work out. My dad started to see some movement. They had two smaller bucks come in and they were just waiting on that big boy. 
The younger bucks in front of him were starting to act nervous, so my dad had a feeling that that bigger buck was in the area. And sure enough, the 12 point he was after and another decent buck came out. Now my dad just needs him to move away from this other buck and he'll be in the perfect position for my dad to let an arrow fly. Unfortunately, as he drew back his bow, his elbow hit the back of the blind and scared the deer off and he never returned. Back over at my blind, the buck I'm after is coming in, but it's getting dark so we have to make something happen really quick. He was on high alert and every time I would draw back, he would either look up or run off. really frustrated. He just wouldn't give me a shot. He came back one more time that night and it was my last chance to make something happen. And just like every other time, I would draw back, he would either look up at me or run off, and that was the last time we saw him that night. This segment brought to you by Hunter Safety Systems. It gets you home safe every time. We're coming up on our third day at Charco Morano Ranch hunting whitetail. My dad and I have both had opportunities at mature bucks, but every time they come in, they seem to get the best of us. We're headed back out to the blinds and we're really hoping that we can come out on top instead of the deer. My dad was in the blind for maybe 30 minutes, and out comes the buck he's been after for the past few days. It's clearly still too dark to take a shot and way too dark for our cameras, so my dad just has to sit and wait patiently and hope that this buck sticks around. Low light situations may be one of the worst when it comes to filming hunts. When the cameraman tells you you can't shoot when that buck is standing only 15 yards in front of you, it makes you almost want to puke. But luckily for my dad, that didn't happen. The buck stays just long enough for the cameraman to give him the okay. So now my dad just has to wait for the buck to get into good position.
three lives. The first night we had too much brush in the way. And then the first morning he came in too early and left. Last night, when I pulled my arm back, I bumped the blind behind me. Now he's not dead yet, we don't know for sure, but it looked like a really good shot. Um, and finally on the fourth sit here, um, we made it happen. I hope. I mean, I always second guess myself. It was dark in this blind and uh, Glenn said that it looked like a good shot, so. They waited about an hour and then started trekking. Well, it didn't take them long to find this buck, and he was a dandy. So we got out of our blind to meet up with them to see this beautiful buck. Oh man, thanks so much, Phil. Well, let me tell you, congratulations. I tell you, it, it is, Amazing that you get, sometimes it, it works out to where you get that many chances. Yeah. You know, in, I know. Early, <laughs> or, in the early part of the season, of the season you have that chance. Right. But in, it, as time goes on, they don't get to be like this with being dumb. You uh -huh. know? I know, it. That, that was amazing. Phil, I had talked to him last year with uh, Brian Stevens and, um, and he said these are solid people and um, if they like you, then they might invite you back. <laughs> and so they must have liked us, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> so we, we like to share the experience, and there's nothing like it whenever somebody appreciates an animal like this, and when it, whenever they're able to hunt it, and and it, it all ends up good. Right. It is better. Yeah. Then can't get no better. Than it is. And I think. You know, like I was saying earlier, I've done mostly gun hunting in the past because I've been after my quest for all my North American big game. And so this could be the biggest you know, buck once we score it with my bow. Um, it's just been in the last few years, um, really, that I've primarily hunted straight up with archery. And uh, so how exciting is that? I was so happy that my dad was able to kill this awesome buck. He has been on a mission to kill a big buck for a long time and to see it finally come together for him was so special. We loaded the buck and took it back to camp, and right when we got back, all of Phil's grandkids were running up and ready to see this buck. There's really nothing better than sharing the outdoors with these kids. They were all running up to the deer, so excited to see it, asking so many questions, it was really heartwarming. When we return, I head back out with high hopes that I'll be able to get a big boy on the ground as well. And my dad heads out to see if he can shoot a couple hogs. Stay tuned, Big Boys TV will be right back. This segment is brought to you by Whitetail Institute. Research equals results. Welcome back. On our third morning at Charco Morano Ranch, my dad was able to kill a beautiful 12 point buck. I was still looking to fill my tag on a mature whitetail, and my dad headed out to see if he could kill a couple hogs. I'm in an observation stand tonight, and Jade is over in another spot. Um, last night I had hogs come in here, so I figured I'd come in here and try to get a hog. They have a big problem with them here. And so if I can take one or two out with my bow, um, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. After about an hour, my dad had a good sized hog coming in. He was self filming, so it took him some time to get set up and get the hog in the frame for the shot. Once he got everything ready, he knocked an arrow and just waited for a clean shot.
But before we show you the recovery of this hog, we're gonna head back over to my blind where things are starting to heat up. Well, we're back in the blind again tonight. Um, this morning we had three different bucks in here and a bunch of does. And the buck that I wanted just didn't give me the shot that I was looking for. So we're back in the same blind and we're just hoping that it'll come back tonight. The night started off slow with not a whole lot of action. With about an hour left of daylight, Austin noticed some movement further out in the brush. We had three eight points coming in. When we arrived at camp, Phil had told me that there was a couple management eight points and if they came in, I was allowed to shoot them. This was our last night and since that Big Ten was nowhere to be found, I decided if this buck presented me with a shot, I was gonna take it. Now it was just a waiting game. I needed him to step away from this other deer and present me with a shot. And, um, we've been on here for a few days now and I've just been waiting for a nice buck to stand broadside for me and I've had such a hard time trying to get a deer just in the right spot. I've been so gun shy because of some of the stuff that's happened this past season. And I mean, this deer just stood perfectly broadside and I let loose. I watched the arrow all the way through my peep and it looked like a good shot. So oh, I'm so excited. My PSE and Ramcat combination just does the trick. I tell you what, you get a good spot and whew, I'm sure that deer is going to go down. I'm so excited. This is only my second white tail with a bow ever and I'm shaking. shot this nice eight point here at the Charco Morano Ranch and we were getting a little nervous because uh, we weren't able to find him. And then I just started, I was just walking on my own, just looking out here for a body and I found him. Beautiful eight point. It was such a relief to have this buck on the ground. We took pictures and admired him with the whole family. And then we went back and found the hog my dad shot. The trip to Texas couldn't have gone any better. We'd like to thank the Hunter family for their amazing hospitality and for allowing us to hunt on their ranch. And we really look forward to coming back next year. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in next week. Also follow all of our adventures on Facebook, Instagram, and BigVoiceTV.com. How's that? Is that perfect? Yeah, I'm trying to see right now. Oh, looks great. right there. Yeah, come right, hold on. And we've got lots of people talking behind us. It's the uh, first night here in Texas and my fly's down. So I'm gonna... There we go. Sorry about that, folks, but I just noticed it. And these are new Nomad pants and so...